hey guys what's up so i'm just fresh out of the shower so i want to start with my skincare making use of the dr rachel sense toner just going to start with this to prep my skin i don't know what kind of look i want to go for that's the only thing but i know i'm working with the colors burgundy and cream but for now i'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for the kind of look that i would like to achieve for today Okay, so once my toner has dry, I'm going in with my face serum. And it seems like I'm rushing. I'm actually rushing because I should have started doing this like I think 15, 20 minutes ago, but <laughs> I'm late. So I just don't want to be so late that it's not begins to worry people because I'm supposed to be on the train. For moisturizing, I'm making it with a simple hydrating light moisturizer and this is just to basically keep my face moisturized. I I will need this makeup to last me for the entire day. So I'm just going to repeat my 10 hour my 10 hours makeup routine. I'm pray that it works again today because I have this makeup thing does that the days when you least expect it to last and slap that's when it always eats but the days when you really need it to eat you still have eyebrow problems yeah and I really didn't know when that happened today yeah so this is the base that we are working with so while this is dry I want to start prepping my eyebrows so making it in my spoolie I just like to start by brushing it first I should have trimmed these brows, but honestly, I don't have time to start trimming at this moment. I really do not have the time. And then making use of my wax just to apply to my brows. What I've learned with this wax is that I don't like to go directly on it, yeah? I like to put a little bit of serum, like oil, so that it does not end up leaving like a white cast. Because the times where I just went in directly with it and Maybe like when I'm half the day, my eyebrows are looking white <laughs> and it's not the look you want to get. So just mix it with a little bit of serum or oil, whichever one you can get, and then just glide it over my brows. Just so. When you're mixing, ensure that the wax is not in lesser quantity than the oil because, I mean, Chemistry is what matters right now, yeah. So just balance the whole equation properly. It has to be more wax than oil so that your wax will actually do what it's supposed to do. Like I said, my brows are looking like right now. So this is my finger to just press it in. So this really looks laminated and ready. It makes my brow drawing easier. Yeah, I like it like that. So I'm going to just let it stay for a minute. But since my moisturizer has gotten dried, I'm going to apply my primer. This is the CPD Champions Creation Primer that I spoke about in my other video. This guy is the only guy that I have seen to give me the feeling of the Elf Primer and the Milk Primer. And it's super more affordable than both of them combined. So, normally I'll go with eye cream before this step, but I forgot my eye cream. So, I'm just going in with whatever I have because I have this big ass pimple here, but don't worry, we'll be fine. So in attempt to save time, whilst one thing is drying, I just go on to do the other thing so that I don't just sit and be waiting for something to get done when my wipes. Okay, so in natural practice, while my primer is getting done, it's getting dried on my face, I'm going to start by preparing my lips with this Vaseline. Yeah, so I have using this lately to just moisturize my lips before I go in with my lip routine or my lip plan for the day and um, it just helps because Vaseline is like the real OG like for me like my kids 
We've well, used this guy, come rain, come shine. And it's never filled with it. So I don't want to dump things because they're not trending. So it's just been working for me. I'm gonna keep using it till it stops working for me. And you can also use mineral as lotion. My primer is still kind of drying, it's still drying up. So let me just start with my brows because I really don't need anything serious on my brows. I have full brows, in case you cannot see, in case you cannot notice it. My brows are like very full, so I'm just going to do like hair like strokes on them. I really don't need to feel anything, I think just the edges that I just need to feel. So I'm just going to get my brow gel. Should I use brow gel? Should I use brow pencil? I'm looking at this brow gel. Yeah, this is from Matt Huda Beauty. I had this guy. I think I got this guy on my first makeup anything. Like my first makeup kit that I bought to my money. Yeah. I remember that year. I was feeling so, I was feeling so, I was feeling so motivated. And this guy has not finished. I don't even know. I think it's more than two years now. So it has expired. Mm. It's very fine. So just making and a very slim brush by the way. Just using it to just fill out the other part of my brows. Yeah, I think it's looking good. I'm trying not to make it so dark. Just filling out my brows. So the areas where I have sparse hairs, that's where I'm applying it. If you begin at this makeup game, I wouldn't advise you to start with the brow gel. Start off with a pencil so that you can work your way in. As you start with the brow gel, um, it's gonna get tacky. And a bit difficult for you. I don't know about everybody has like a favorite eye, a favorite eyebrow. Because some why one eyebrow will always look the way I want it to look like, and this one is always looking like they are fighting war. It's fine, it's calm. Let's pull out this part now. I think we are good. Okay, so right now my primer has dried. I'm just going to put this so pro cosmetics setting spray onto my face first. Okay, okay, so while this is drying up, I'm going to go back to my brows. This is how I literally get ready in no time. So I'm making use of my I'm making use of my Nebam Beauty in my skin concealer. Yes, this shade is like two shades lighter than my actual shade. And plus of I'm going for a wedding glam. I'm going I'm going full force. Normally I always like something that is a bit um one shade or even use my foundation shade, yeah, but I need to look like, yeah, I'm a wedding guest. I just use my spoolie to just brush these guys up again then I like to use my foundation for the top of my brows just because it has this natural lifted look like when the under eye is is a bit highlighted and the top is just looking natural so I'm just going to apply this on this brush here so this is a random brush I bought <laughs> in a salon so it has both sides and i really like that fact so you need to just clean the top part of my brows my god i remember the time when i was little that i used to struggle with doing makeup and i'll go around to my elder sister to do my makeup for me because <laughs> i never used to get it right and my makeup journey is just it just proves the fact that the more you practice the better at it you get because tell me why at the top of my head i'm not struggling with these guys i know that okay last last my makeup look good i need to look good because i have mastered my routine 
So even if your makeup is not is not looking its best right now, trust me, eventually to look its best, and then you now become the designated makeup girl in your house. So yeah, my brows are okay. This is what they're looking like right now. So I'm just gonna use my my blending brush my brows if i can find it yeah so this is the urban decay this is the urban decay brush that i'm making use of yeah blending the under eye first yeah so i'm just blending this guy like at this point my face is tacky like i do like this i can feel something is on my face sitting so i'm just like i like that part already then just blend this guy in easy peasy lemon squeezy so my brows are done i think i want to walk from up to down because i don't want to i don't want to ruin anything down here do you get and i don't have room to start doing my makeup all over again so just using the same concealer i used to go over my eyelid to serve as a primer, like eye primer, and to just hide my hyperpigmentation. Yeah. There's there's this there's this there's this spirit. Not spirit, let me not scare you. There's always this spirit that just comes when you're you're trying to do a makeup plan for a big event. That spirit of oh try something new because never why I'm thinking of doing cut crease right now. Cut crease that I most times never do on normal day when I'm calm and collected. It's now that I'm literally rushing that I'm like, mm, just try cut crease. It might actually work. I could actually try but not today. Like I need to I need to look glam. And you can see it's in sync with my under eye. So that's the whole vibe, that's the whole look. I'm trying to go for so quickly quickly I'm going to set those two guys with my setting powder I am making use of my OG Benai luxury powder yeah the other nicer ones can I afford it yes but if I can't afford it like twice at once like if I can buy it like three at one store at the same time then I can't afford it like there's no need to cap yourself man I mean I've been getting like nice looks with this guy so there's no need to just dump them but doesn't mean they'll not buy other ones when make more money i will <laughs> i will but that's just how it is you know way to get so much money to get like the trendy trendiest product just work with what you have and just know the basic routine and basic steps and you'll be all right so then it begin to avoid harsh lines i'm going to stop the excess powder yeah tapping it there just going over underneath my eye yeah, so blending this guy, okay, blending this guy as well. So this is totally optional, but I like to use the excess to just dab over my brows because I don't like my brows looking so black, if that makes sense. I don't like really, really black looking brows. Like they're not black, 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 but I like them looking a little bit faded, like softer and all so that's my glam and i think that's the reason why they don't end up getting sweaty but i don't sweat on my brows no matter but here that some people actually do sweat on their brows if that's the case that's you then yeah you want to try that trick out so next we're going to our eye makeup Woo! it's time to get creative if you're wondering where i'm at yeah go watch this vlog up here and then you will have an idea of why i'm rushing <laughs> what i'm rushing for and where i'm rushing to the colors for today are burgundy and cream and my material has a bit of gold in it so i'm trying to see if i can use this gilt part as a shimmery this gilt i can't say it properly <laughs> this gilt here as a shimmery in a, i think that's what i would to make use of this very flat brush i want to start with my eyeliner I'm using the same gel but this is the black version of the brown one i use for my brows and for some reason i'm having a little bit of second guessing moment because why am i scared to do my eyeliner right now okay, okay let's go let's go so i like to just dab it over with some black eyeshadow because i have hooded eyes you can't see the notice so doing this like this because you know it's like a waterproof liquid eyeliner doing like this to just make 
it not stay if that makes sense if you want more insight to it let me know in the comment section so this way it doesn't get to stay my upper hoods yeah i'm using a smaller naked brush and um, with a brown eye shadow shade like almost black but like brown and like a gradient kind of eye makeup look I have gone ahead to do the other side. I'm going to use a lighter shade of brown now and then blend it like it's giving like a gradient look. It's like soft makeup glam thingy. This is like my signature look for this way. I don't really know what to do. It's, it does not feel me. So now it's all blended in, then I'll bring it on up here. Yeah. So you're doing the same for this guy here. You also want to blend in the like the actual line, so there's no actual demarcation. So just like one gradient, they just goes into each other. Because of this round fluffy brush, I'm going to use my normal skin to shade of brown. Like just get any color that just looks like your skin. And then that's the excess and just go over this in our corner. Because it is barely not even showing. I like it just so So I'm just gonna use this fluffy brush to just blend everything in just like that. Look so I want to add a little bit of color to the ends. Yeah. I'm going for like burgundy, so I'll have like a touch of burgundy at the end of my eye. Yeah, it's making sense. So a touch of burgundy at the end to just seal everything in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like to me makeup is like effortless, just trust the process and you're gonna look good but that's because I've had like my fair share of practice so it's like easy peasy lemon squeezy for me right now and um, yeah it's looking basic but that's how I like it that's how I like it so for this inner part yeah I think I'm gonna go with gold like bronzish wineish gold color I just do this inner part of my eye. I don't even know if you all see me properly, like, I feel like it's too far. Yeah, it's like a bronzish shade. Yeah, you did see jobs and stuff. I don't know if this color is actually so obvious. Like, I think I want to apply more glitter because, I mean, wedding is all about shine, shine. I'm going to go in with a little bit much more pigmented glitter. How's the makeup look? How's it going? Are you even seen? Yes. This is how men lie. So you're never seen and you just said, I don't know if I should go with a little bit of like different colors. Looking to monochromish. But this is basically what we are about. I think I'll add a little bit of like gold to it. This is the Master Chrome by Face Studio by Maybelline. And I just want to just put this guy is really pigmented, so I'm just hoping that it add a bit of shine. Yeah. So my eye. Try that inner corner, like it has to pop. Yeah. It's giving us meant to give and more. But then for my waterline. I'm just going to use the same flat brush I used and my gel liner to just mark. Let me just get rid of this eye poop that shows up at the most amount of times. Just go in and line it. Oh my god, I hate this part. I'm getting teary. It's not for the <laughs> Yeah, that should do. I'm already getting to it. Oh. So I'm just going to like touch this down with black eyeshadow to make it much more pigmented. Okay, so now I'm done with my eye makeup. It's just to get my foundation done. This is what I'm going to be using today. Today we're going full glam. So just Applying a good amount of it because we're going to cover all our all our yama yama. 
make use of my dance brush just using it to just blend this guy properly so after blending this i'm going to go in with my setting spray and my beauty blender to just soak everything in I say soak to just press everything in I'm shut down Gabby. I don't think I'm in cuts. I'm in cuts this week. I'm going to have <laughs> Yo, a clear video. It's getting fucking chaotic. So now for my under eye. You wonder why I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is here making me not concentrate, but it's fine. And it's funny how he's not saying that I'm going to have a lot of cuts, but it's fine. It's if only if only they can pay for my video editor. We'll not be having this conversation. Sounds is better to just clean up this eyeliner a bit, make it look sharper for my nose. Then underneath here, because I'm going full glam, full glam or nothing. Yeah, so yeah. While that is um silking in, why do I keep saying silking? While that is settling in, I'm going to go in with my contour. And I like contouring because it's always so dramatic. So I'm making use of this Zekel. Yeah, this Zekel foundation. It's actually a foundation, but it's like really darker than my shade. They mixed up my order. So I just figured that I'll just use it for contour instead. I'm going to mix in the LA Girl Pro Concealer with this guy to get like my perfect shade. So I'm mixing it together. I'm just going to apply it on areas where I need contouring. Over here to cover my big forehead. Yeah, back back. Going on my real technique in the number 200 isn't to just blend my contour upward towards my hairline and a bit to the front at the same time. Yeah, it's coming together, it's coming together. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just my opinion. It's just time we are the next one's just person I do. So, I'm going to use this real techniques brush. Yeah, this is an um, 300 to just blend my contour my nose because it's a smaller, denser brush. So, using my um, naked brush to just blend my concealer hair, I don't want it too bright because there to be so unrealistic. Just blending this guy and then Blending the one on my forehead as well. Then this guy on my nose, blending it just so. Yeah, this is my nose. Is it okay? <laughs> but what you are blind? <laughs> Shit, sorry. So blending this edge as well. But I'm just going to blend the edge out and let this inner part like unblended because I want to use my blush to bring it in. Digger. So I'm just going to blend these edges out first and then these edges part here. I used to use my like tinted lip glosses, yeah. I just mix it two together and blend them just so. So I apply them. This is the shade of the first one. Yeah, just put it there. And the other one is like pink. So I like the in-between color. So this is the other color. So I'm gonna mix it two them together. Make it of this younger beauty foundation brush. I like that it's angled and it just helps me to just put my blush where I need to be. So I'm blending these two together to give me the perfect color. I think I see this beauty. <laughs> so I'm going to be using for my blush. Taking it up a bit. So going back to blend my concealer. So blending this guy, using to clean up my nose contour as well. For the inner corner of my under eye, getting it with like a lighter shade of LA Girl Pro Concealer. Just to apply it just at this corner. And use the same brush. It's time to set my under eye. To so set my under eye, just blending it one more last time. Find this guy underneath. I have setting powder on it. We're doing the same thing for this guy here. Now apply powder everywhere. I applied my concealer. So with my powder contour, I'm making use my fluffy brush and applying my powder contour onto it. So just get this guy back. So I'm just set my contour there. 
using the tip here to just contour my nose back. My powder blush, I'm making use of my Real Techniques brush in the shade 400 and the Ellie Girl blush collection. I'm going to use this pink shade to set my blush. And then use my Real Techniques brush at this point here. It's looking like I'm doing a Real Techniques video. Real Techniques brush in 402, in 402 to write that. I don't like saying 40. To just dust off the excess powder from underneath my eye. So I'm just going to use my Nubam Beauty powder to just lock everything in. So go in with my setting spray that I used at the beginning. Just finding this guy. Sorry, be hurry. Okay, so using this brush, focus. Yeah, using this brush and the same brush that I use my brows to so just outline my lips. Then going with this matte lip gloss I have, it's like nude. I want to keep my lips nude today. Yeah, this is what I'm looking like. I don't even want to leave it matte or I'll add some gloss. I think I'll leave it matte. Now that my setting spray has dried, for extra security, I like to go in with a big amount of setting powder to just set my face for the entire day. This is like a hack that I use for like big events like this that like everything just remains in place i know that my eyes will still pick you later on so if it's looking white right now just ignore it it's going to it's going to align so right now i want to go in with my highlighter i'm using this master chrome by maybelline i like using a damp beauty blender because it makes it to be much more natural and for that i apply settings spray on it earlier it's going to just make it look seamless so I plan it in this area just so and I want some in between my nose. Just going to unwrap my hair right now. Hopefully this curls properly. Yay! It did coil. Oh my god. So nice. So now that my makeup is done, my hair is done. I look nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just kiss. Okay guys, so this is the final look. This is the outfit I'm supposed to wear for the first dance. My hair is looking nice and my makeup is looking nice as well. I just applied some glow on my body because like my body has to be glowing in this traditional outfit. Uh, this is what we are giving you what we're looking like right now. So thank you guys for watching the button now. If you do like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe for much more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.